Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Eight: Connecting Ideas. Chapter Eight: Connecting Ideas. Unit Objectives. After successful completion, students will be able to connect ideas with and, connect ideas with but, connect ideas with so. Use auxiliary verbs after but and or. Connect ideas with because. Use and plus to, so, either, neither, and connect ideas with even though or although. Connecting ideas with and, connecting items within a sentence, and connects two or more items or words in a sentence. When and connects two items or words within a sentence, no commas is used. Example A. I bought a pen and a book. Here you can see two items: a pen and a book, joined by and, and there is no comma before and. Example B: They visited Paris and London. Paris, the name of a city, and London, it is also a name of a city, and they are joined by and, and there is no comma before and. Connecting items within a sentence. When and connects three or more items or words within a sentence, commas are used. Example A: I bought a pen, a book, and a bag. There are three items in a series. The first two are pen and a book, and there is a comma between them. But the third one, a bag, and before and there is no comma here. Example B: They visited Paris. London and Dubai. There are three names of cities, and the first two, there is a comma between them, but the last one joined by and, there is no comma before and. The third one, I saw a cat, a mouse, and a dog. There is a comma between the first two, and there is also a comma before and. So there is a note here. In a series of three or more items, the comma before and is optional. You can put a comma here or without a comma. It is correct. See the example. It is also correct. I bought a pen. There is a comma between a pen and a book, and there is no comma before and. You can put a comma, but it is not mandatory.